Stephen Regal has told me he doesn't want to be referred to as Lord Stephen Regal anymore. Well, okay. he's just Stephen Regal. He's not a Lord. He's just a tough guy from the streets of Blackpool, England. And I better, and I better warn Webb, our ring announcer, too. David, I gotta warn you, Stephen Regal doesn't want to be called Lord anymore, so I'd watch it or you're gonna get a bloody good thrashing. No more Lord, Scott. Do I have to set everybody straight around here? Well, I can tell you one thing. Stephen Regal told me he didn't want to be known as Lord, and I'd sure recommend him that he pay attention to that because he is one hard-nosed guy. Just something about that attitude. Here we go. Got a big guy going to Pete Gass, one of the Mean Street Posse. This has got to be his biggest matchup today. Since coming to Memphis Championship Wrestling. Of course, he's longtime buddies with Shane McMahon from the World Wrestling Federation, but Shane's not around here. He doesn't have his rich, powerful friend to help him. He's in there one-on-one -on -one against Steven Regal, and he's gonna get a thrashing. Bloody good one. Regal had that forearm right across the look at him. Puts the uh, hand right under the chin. Down underneath, right back off, but Gas takes him off his feet. Snaps him over, mares him down on that deck, and he's got him in the center of the ring. A little of a surprise. Beautiful move by Gas. Two, as a matter of fact, back to back as Lord Stephen Regal. I checked that. Stephen Regal hooked him up there by the head, but Pete Gas is a Big, big guy. Oh, Steven Regal has wrestled guy. Oh, oh, look at that. Used his own momentum, threw him out of the rope. He actually was lucky he caught himself going through those ropes. He could have bounced off that concrete head first. He yes, was kind of ticked Ooh. off by that. Look at that Regal go. Regal upset. I mean, really mad. I think he's mad that he caught himself in the rope. And he didn't put him down head first. Regal going after him. Going to stand him on his ear. No, he is not. Look at Pete Gass. Blocked him. One and two. Almost had a win. Whoa. What an upset that would have been. On a hot streak and a half. Pete Gass almost got him with that small package. Well, you'll find few people on this. Oh, what a. No, he. Ooh, that was close, Lance. That out of it. Ooh. Oh! Did you see that forearm? I felt that forearm. All the way over here. Referee Bill Rush saying be sure to keep it open. Regal's been hitting him with a forearm. I haven't seen the fist. Now, I won't say he didn't do it, but... Regal very rarely uses the fist. He'll use those That's right. uppercuts. All perfectly legal. Just, I've never seen somebody make an uppercut or a forearm look so vicious. You hear what's going on up there now, David? Bill Rush is saying, I'm at the count of four, and Regal says, I bloody well know it's four. He's, he's timing out so that he doesn't get counted out. And look at Pete Gass making a comeback. Backs Regal up in the corner. With that fist, he's using the fist. No forearm there. Get on him, Bill Rush. Turn about fair play. Well, Pete Gass can obviously count to 10 along with the help of the crowd here. Well, Regal setting him up for the Union Jack. This nails it. Ooh, he tried to. Count of one, two, that's all. He went on your back. Catching me inferior opponents. Back with that same comment again, talking about inferior opponents. I'll tell you one thing. I thought Pete Gass looked pretty good in there against him. I know what the outcome was. Steven Regal won it impressively, but Pete Gass gave him a go in there. That's one of an outstanding card today. Looking forward to more. This Wednesday night, Memphis Championship.